How are you going, Taurus? We're going to do your quick reading for today. I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely weekend. I um, hope you're happy, healthy, safe, safe and loved. Um, if, if the reading doesn't resonate, don't force it. We're all on different journeys um, and different life paths. If it does does fit, give us a like and subscribe and, or comment, either way. Um, I'm going to use three different decks to put triple emphasis on it. We're going to start pretty much right now. Juggling the baggage holds a person down with a light, lifts them up. There's growth there. Could be around a family. Nostalgic. There's some sort of divine love and social butterfly. These two cards together, right? See, this is juggling. Okay, this is juggling thoughts, juggling theory, juggling something. Somebody's getting juggled, something's getting juggled. Um, and we can see there's growth there. So whether somebody's juggled you or you've juggled somebody, there is growth there in itself because, or there was growth there because look, we've got the legacy buff before this, so. As it comes out, yeah, we got the legacy there, and there's the growth. See, the growth is in the family because look, family, see, family, family, man and a dog, man and a dog, family balance within the children, um, you know, grow old, you know, beautiful, like grow old, yeah, because that can be thinking back or thinking forward, can be future self in itself, can be embracing your inner child, but it's usually nostalgia, like memories, like memories. I, can't, I, I, don't, I don't ever stop thinking about my daughter, ever. Um, but you can see the family tree there, yeah? It's, um, that's, that's sacred knowledge, and that's sacred in itself. Um, and these memories are sacred. There's some sort of divine gift, though, because you can see the divine gift, right? Aces are divine gifts, and they're given to us by the divine, and that's destiny in itself, as long as the fate will comes out. But you can see there's some sort of growth there, whether somebody juggled you or you juggled or you're juggling thoughts, okay, because the light will lift you up. And above that is the family tree, and above that is the thoughts. We can see the thoughts of in a child uh, thinking backwards. But we do have a social butterfly here, and there's manifestations within that, okay, and that's shocking. I wonder what it is. We're going to have a look a little bit further and see what we got for you, Taurus. Readings won't go for very long today. I've got a lot to do, so I'm going to smash them out quickly and get them done. Um, next reading. Let's have a look here, yeah? You're in that personal achievement area um, of life because she's the Nine of Pentacles and that's somebody who's personally achieved and that's somebody who's at the Nine of Pentacles. You're personally achieved. You don't want anybody. You don't need anybody. But when it comes around, you're ready for it because we've got the Ten of Pentacles there. And before that is the growth. We don't have any silly cards here at all. They're all Pentacles, by the way, except for the Divine the Cup of Love and the Social Butterfly. Because we've got Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and then we've just seen the Nine of Pentacles under the under the cup. We may be juggling thoughts about a broken heart, some sort of painful ending, some sort of crisis, some sort of traumatic experience. It doesn't have to be um, bad. It can be over. And that traumatic experience, which is the baggage that holds a person down, can help them grow in life. We've got planning. Two of Pentacles gives the seventh in growth, right? Growth, right? It's the juggling gives the growth, okay? Because the baggage holds a person down, which helps a person grow in life, yeah? Then it comes underneath that with a broken heart, which you would grow from that, and the baggage would hold you down, so therefore my ears is click, so therefore you would choose the light, so therefore the broken heart goes away. And in front of that person is the world. You can see as we step off there in itself. What else we got? King to the Queen of Pentacles, a very sociable couple, because above that we've got a legacy. Could be you and your mindset, could be you and your mindset, uh, but I don't get that because, do we get that? Because that's memories. That's memories. It can be usually thinking back, thinking forward, somebody thinking about a lot of things in itself, but it's usually thoughts. We have that divine gift. Hmm. Joy. Joy. This is harmonious joy. This is jumping for joy. This is radiance joy. This is, this is like a wishful. Gr if the star is wishes granted, then this is jumping to grab the wish. You can see he's sitting there with nine cups of love, um, just waiting for the um, the tenth cup. Above it, we have the the man and the dog. Um, obviously, thinking back, thinking forward. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles with the growth there, we do see underneath that there is some sort of planning in itself. Um, you know, maybe, what are we worried about? It's the comeback out of the legacy, so it's double emphasis on the leg legacy here. Okay, we got, as it would sit, it would sit like this, yeah? It's like divine gift is in the legacy, the legacy there, but we're thinking, for some sort of reason, we're thinking. I don't know what we're thinking about, but there's growth there within the thoughts. 
What are we thinking about? Impulsive and excitable. Impulsive and excitable. Reacting in unconventional ways. We attract unusual experience. I don't know why that come through. We attract unusual experience. May suffer from an unpredictable mood swings, but that's okay. That's Taurus is a beautiful sign, an absolutely beautiful sign. You're very talented in yourself. You're very independent. It's a very independent sign. You're very vulnerable, kind, very vulnerable, kind heart, understanding and growth though, happiness and contentment. We're going with this. We only got a couple more minutes to go. Logic, using your logic, using your brain. We have the king to the king to the king. Three kings, three, three kings of Orienta. And we got one queen, three kings, one queen. We're juggling at the top there. If you're the queen, three kings, maybe juggling. But at the end of the day, then that would be action, which leads to the emperor. The only thing we're missing there with a the king of wands, a king of swords, and a king of cups is that king of passion. Where's the king of passion? Trapped in the mind. Knight of wands has been to their own drum, but sadness, and then it gives a manifestation like a manifesting beast with trickery, but you have to release a deception. Mm. Power struggles rock your life. You've worked very, very hard on yourself, okay? If somebody's going to come in and break your heart, we don't allow that. You are a divine gift, as we can see that there. We are centered. The whole reading is centered around you being a passionate, beautiful soul and having joy within your life. So I don't think the divine would want um, your heart to be rocked in any way, to, especially if you're a divine love, okay, in itself. And the majority are. They just don't realize it because you can't um, do that until you get growth. And then that would be the juggling of thoughts in yourself. Your zodiac... Um, bestows grace. You have charm, but you're also humorous. You may love to talk. Very good skilled communicator. You have creative abilities. Taurus, beautiful. Oh, I've come back out again. That's what the whole reading in this, like I just said, uh, is you centering around your joy okay see that's literally the way the whole reading goes in front of you it's centered around your joy okay and that's fair in life you deserve to have joy with this heartbroken thing at the start there we don't want that but then for the fact that that comes around underneath the deck when i grab a new deck and i shuffle these decks it was fated there's some sort of fated joy the whole thing is around it centered around it and within that we have the trusting your intuition seeing this card here She's uh, sitting there pondering, uh, it's the Four of Cups. She's sitting there looking at three of the cups, okay? She's not really looking, she's more looking down, but she's contemplating. She may feel like, oh, what's going on in life, okay? But what she can't see is she's sitting in a big cup. And what does that mean? It puts her emphasis onto a person, uh, maybe not. Can be contemplation, can be rejection, can be inhibited expressions of emotion, I suppose, because they are cups. But then you tend to hold back in your sign, don't you? But you do gain the upper hand in some sort of way, especially in domestic upheavals and power struggles that rock your life. But as you can see, if you look, there's two people kissing. Instead, see the cups there, but then have a look, there are two people kissing. We have a lot of kings out here. You are the social butterfly, though. Oh, where are we going to? We're going to go into this broken heart. Somebody broke your heart at the present moment? Do you have a broken heart? Because they're memories and nostalgia. Maybe you're planning to walk away from that broken heart, but you're juggling with thoughts. And in that is the growth. And there's victory there. We have a horophant and the victory, the chariot. We have fate. See, as it sits in front of me, I'm going to show you. See if I can do it it's this way. Yeah, see, your card. Uh, the Cantarian energy here of that victory. We've got the fate of that uh, wheel there. And then we've got the choosing joy and the happiness that's there. And then the card that sits over the top of that, when I asked about it in my mind, is psychic abilities. Whole thing centered around your joy and your happiness. Watch out for the devil. The devil can play on your mind, especially the promises of tricks of cheaters. Cheaters, cheaters. We do have three kings out here, but you know your worth, you know your worth, and when you know your worth, you can release that shit and let it go. There is growth there. Yeah. Represents the way you think. You're very curious. Very intellectual. Very assertive. It's 
skilled. Does that go straight there under the legacy? Some sort of skilled legacy. Skill within legacy. We got psychic, psychic abilities. Okay, but this broken heart. What we're going to do is I'll never do this. We're going to grab the Empress. Somebody who's unconditionally loving heart. We're going to grab a fourth deck. We're going to grab a fourth deck and we're going to shuffle it right up here. Let's shuffle it right up here. I need one card to put on that broken heart because this reading is beautiful. Um, we do have juggling thoughts though. Mental jousting, I suppose, is the best way to say it. But I just need one card, please, divine. One card, just one card to put on that love heart just to let me know what's going to go on here. Boom. What do we got? The hermit. Somebody's thinking. Somebody's thinking about a high priestess because we do have the fate of that joy to climbs around a high priestess and then we have the high priestess in this deck and we can see inner wisdom. But this is the card, the introspection of the hermit. Somebody's thinking about a broken heart. I asked what this, why I need that. I need that question. I need to know because the whole reading is beautiful. But we have a broken heart. And underneath we have your energy. Next to that we have the chariot. And above that we have juggling. Broken heart. They're very pretty these cards, aren't they? They're very, very pretty. They can sit there on the broken heart. So somebody's thinking about you. Thinking about something fated with you. You are the Empress, which is unconditional love. You may have had your heart broken and completely shattered in so many ways. It's not funny because we do have the Ten of Swords there. What else we got? But you're releasing that and letting that go. Juggling back again. Are you juggling going back with some thoughts about releasing burdens? It's coming in fast. Okay, and there's a victory coming in fast. Somebody's thinking about you. They think that's the truth. It's the truth. Okay, it's the King of, Car King of Emotions just flipped. Okay, with somebody new beginning and the Ten of Cups which is the ultimate spiritual satisfaction. And there's a victory. Victory can stay on top of the um, thing. And then we got love straight underneath that. We got love, love, love. Then we got the queen of love, that king of uh, king of cups comes out as it flips with the page of materials, which is somebody who puts the lessons of life into work. And then we have the 10 of cups there, which is the ultimate spiritual satisfaction. Now that goes above the hermit there thinking, somebody's thinking about that. No, it keeps twitching. It's the patterns. It's the patterns. Somebody's thinking, we got introspection here, we got somebody thinking up here about a legacy. A legacy come out straight underneath that. So right as it sits in front of me, the divine gift is to the left of this right here. Okay, and then we've got the legacy and the thinking and nostalgia. And then underneath that, we have another legacy, okay? And it's like, that was a divine legacy. So see if we come back up to here, that's how it would sit. Yeah, divine gift, thinking, legacy, legacy. And underneath that is skilled. Okay, a skilled empress at that, but there's a victory within that as long as you choose joy because the joy is fated. See, the joy puts double emphasis on that, which is the introspection of that. See, fated wheel, joy, psychic abilities. We ask about the broken heart because it's kind of random that it's out there. And we get introspection, thinking, harmony, going within. Somebody's going within, but in that, they'll get a victory. There's a victory there for somebody, that's for sure. We need to have a lovely, beautiful day, Taurus. You are the Empress. There is a victory coming for you, but you have to manifest out of an unconditionally loving heart, which I know you will because your sign is beautiful. It's as simple as that. There is love coming, because no matter which deck I go, it comes out in several different decks, which is two cups being offered in some sort of way, and within that there's victory, but we do have some sort of juggling, and whether to juggling thoughts and whether to step off or, or planning something, because we got the two of wands rather than the three of wands. There is beautiful passion there, because we do have the king of wands and what's passion, but the king of passion, yes, especially with that king of cups here, which is the king of love and the king of intellect. The only thing we're missing, in theory, is a king of pentacles. But we don't need pentacles because there's so many pentacles there, it's not funny, which is the abundance and growth and that legacy that needs to be created. See, it doesn't mean that, um, see these legacies, these, uh, everybody wants them to be there when they come around, but um, a lot of people don't realize that you can build a legacy. 
Um, and a legacy in itself is something beautiful, especially when you build it with the right person. If you build the legacy with the right person, then you have um, the compassion in yourself for building something and bringing something to birth in this, uni in this universe. And see, she is actually birth, so birthing something new is the victory. Trust your intuition at this present moment. There is honestly something fated for you. I just need you to continue with the joyful aspect of your life. Um, there's your card with the victory in itself. And um, if you are introspectively thinking about a broken heart, we need to um, address that because that's a baggage that holds us down instead of the light lifting us up. We can hold on to those traumatic experiences rather than in, and then embrace this social butterfly and manifest the things that we want to manifest. See? Manifest butterfly. It's in the hands. See? The hands, the hands. Hands and hands. It goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Have a lovely day, Taurus, and take care.